Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that the third term of a geometric progression is minus 108. And the sixth term is 32. And we've got to find, for the first part, the common ratio for three marks. The second part, the first term for one mark. And in the third part, the sum to infinity for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So for geometric progressions, remember that the first term is given by A, and then we multiply it by a common ratio. So the next term, the second term, would be AR, where R is the common ratio. Multiply this by R again, and you've got AR squared, and then R again, AR cubed, and so on. OK, so we should be familiar with this. And the nth term, let's say we call it un, is given by a multiplied by the common ratio to the power n minus 1. And it's this idea that we use to do the first part and also the second part of this question. So that's just a quick reminder then. So for part 1, OK, we're given then that we have these terms here. I'm going to start with the sixth term, OK? Well, that is that the sixth term, u6, is equal to 32. And what does this imply? Well, it implies by this formula here that ar to the power 5 must equal 32. Now I've got two unknowns here, a and r, so I need to another equation so I can solve these simultaneously. And I get that second equation by looking at the third term. So the third term, u3, we know is minus 108. And from this, it follows that a r squared must equal minus 108. So if I number these two equations, 1 and 2, then we can solve these quite easily by dividing. If we divide equation 1 by 2, 1 divided by 2, then what do we get? Well, the a's would cancel out. Then we'd have r to the 5 over r squared, which is r cubed. So you've got r cubed equals... And then you've got 32 divided by minus 108. That's going to be a negative value overall. So it's minus 32 over 108. And this reduces down. You can divide top and bottom by 4. 4 goes into 32 8 times. And 4 goes into 108 27 times. And these are nice numbers because you can cube root them very easily. So to get r, we need to find the cube root then of minus 8 over 27. And that is the same as cube rooting top and bottom. The cube root of 8 or minus 8, it doesn't matter which way you look at it, is going to be minus 2. And the cube root of 27 is 3. So you end up with that common ratio then equaling minus 2 thirds. OK, let's move on now to the second part. So for the second part, we've got to now find the first term. First term, remember, is A, and it's easy because we've got R. We can substitute into either equation 1 or equation 2. It's up to you. I'm going to go for equation 2 because it's got R squared there. It's a lower power. So we'll sub R equals minus two thirds then into equation two. And if we do that, what we've got is a multiplied by r squared. So that's a multiplied by minus two thirds. We we'll just put it in there, minus two thirds, and that is squared. And it equals minus 108. So minus two thirds squared is going to give us four ninths. So we've got 4 ninths a or 4a over 9, let's just put a therefore there, equals minus 108. 
And so therefore to get A, all I've got to do is multiply both sides by 9 and divide by 4. So A equals minus 108 multiplied by 9 and that's divided by 4. Okay, so just divide that there by 4. What do we get? Well, it turns out to equal minus 243. Okay, so that's that part. Now, for the last part, we've got to find the sum to infinity. So, how do we find the sum to infinity? Well, again, you should be familiar with this formula. The sum to infinity is given as the first term, a, all divided by 1 minus the common ratio. And this is only true if r lies between minus 1 and 1. And indeed it does. It's minus 2 thirds. So we can use this formula. And so it's just a question of substituting our values in. So we've got a then, which was minus 243. So we've got minus 243. And that's divided by 1 minus minus 2 thirds. 1 plus 2 thirds, in other words. And if you work this out, you end up with minus 145.8. Okay?